today we are gathered here because um, on last Thursday I got called from both Senator Ossoff, Senator Warnock, and then I got the um, text message, an email from Congressman Carter's office letting the county know that we have been one of three counties in the state of Georgia who had been approved for the railroad elimination grant. Right? And let me say to the general public, please concentrate on railroad elimination. All right? uh, there are 11 sites within Chatham County, and they will include the city of Savannah, Port Wentworth, Pula, Bloomingdale, as well as Garden City, as well as unincorporated Chatham. There are 11 sites that will, we will do some adjusting to railroad crossings. And we chose this site because here in Woodsville, the tracks that you see behind us will be totally eliminated, all right? Those uh, trains coming out of the port, when these tracks are eliminated, will no longer come through this neighborhood. And that's a benefit to this neighborhood. And so that's why you see the neighborhood association behind us. Uh, we realize that this is District 1 in the city, but this is the 8th District. And Commissioner Adams, if you were staying, is the uh, commissioner for the 8th District. And we have been working with, and I want to recognize, um, I want to recognize those folks that we've been working with because this is a little over a two-year project. It just didn't start, okay? Uh, first of all, those folks from Georgia Ports Authority who are behind me, just wave your hand, all right? And then um, from the Senator uh, Warnock's office behind me, raise your hand. Senator Ossoff's office behind me, all right. Uh, Congressman Carter's office behind me. Um, those are our partners along with uh, CSX and Norfolk Southern who are our partners. And there's still yet details to work out. But this is one of the tracks that will be totally eliminated through, from out this community. And what it will do, it will um, cease the trains from stopping traffic here. And so because this is one of the ones that will be totally eliminated, we decide to have this press conference here today. We have been given uh, $1,870,000 as a matching grant from the um, railroad elimination bill that's a part of the federal transportation bill and the county, Georgia Ports Authority and CSX, our portion will come to $460,000. So you can see uh, it takes the whole community to do these kinds of things. It takes partnership between business and community to get things done. And I just want to, um, let the public know that um, despite anything in it, this is about railroad elimination and the impact it's making on communities, the impact it's making on neighborhoods throughout Chatham County. And so that is the purpose for this grant and those grants have specific rules and regulations that we must follow. But let me give the biggest shout out to uh, Tara Jennings. And Tara, if you would just raise your hand or stand. Tara and her staff are the ones that we from the office um, gave the charge to let's find out what it's about, find out how do we uh, qualify and then apply for. And so the work of getting all the details written in the grant was done by members of uh, Senator um, Warnock's office, Senator um, Ossoff's office, Congressman Carter's office, as well as our staff, working together with Georgia Ports and our other um, partners in this. And over to my right, you're going to find the existing as it exists now, and then you will find the proposed changes that have been granted to us. And again, let me say, we must follow the federal guidelines to the letter, all right? Over to my left. What you will find here is one of the other nuisance that people will have put before us. And when I say before us, that means the county commission. This is President Street right at uh, Truman Parkway, all right? Uh, the way we're going to eliminate that 
is to build an overpass over it. All right, and this is all a part of that. Now, there was a separate three hundred thousand dollars given to us by the federal uh, federal government to do the study. <clears throat> After the study is done and completed, and the plans are submitted, and then we'll come back to you when we get that grant money, when we get that money from the feds to eliminate that uh, railroad crossing and the nuisance that has come. Now, I, I can say to you now, um, one of the things that was brought to our attention that we cannot do nothing about. Folks wanted us to do something about the railroad crossing at Victor Drive and Bull Street, all right? There is nothing that we can do to eliminate that railroad track, all right? And so that's, for, that's not a part of the railroad elimination grant, but there are 11 sites throughout Georgia, I mean, throughout Chatham County, uh, that we are getting, and I feel fortunate that we are one in three who have been given this federal money uh, to do these things. Again, I want to introduce, let me ask her to come, the president of the Neighborhood Association. If you'll come forward. You go over here if you go. And I just want you to talk to the public about what this means to your neighborhood. Good morning. Welcome to Woodville. We are ecstatic. We are so happy. This has been years to come. I used to walk these tracks, all of us, to school. From to Scott, Tompkins as it was then. We would do this every day, try and outrun the tra train behind us when we get out of school. This right here means so much to all of us. Sometimes I get lost to words thinking about it when Commissioner, Chairman Ellis called me on yesterday. I didn't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. We have so many thoughts and prayers about this railroad track and the way we woke up in the morning, went to sleep, slept through the train. But thank God something and someone and all of you who made it possible for us to know that this will be eliminated we can wait however long it takes, as long as we know it's going to happen. We want to say thank you to each and every one of you. And Chairman Ellis, thank you so much for notifying us of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, with that now, if, if the media would have any questions, you can answer your questions for us. Anyone? First of all, what about the timetable? When is this project going to begin, and when do you guys anticipate that it will be completely removed? That's that's yet to be determined. All right, we just found out Thursday that we have uh, that we have been accepted, and so the plans are here. But as to the timetable, we will have to work that out with the uh, with our partners from Norfolk Southern and and, and uh, CSX and Georgia Ports Authority, but. It is coming. The money is there. The money has been put in place, and now the hard work goes as to coming up with the timeline. Anything else? All right. Let me thank then. Let me thank staff. All right. Uh, just yesterday, um, I pulled them in and said I need to have this press conference, and I didn't know they were going to do all this. All right. But you see, they covered a pathway through us, so we wouldn't have to be in the tall grass because I envision us doing it over across the street, on the street, but to have them come out and to get all of this ready in such a short notice, let me give kudos to our manager who is here, Mr. Kegler. All right, let me give uh, um, kudos to uh, our PIO staff for, for getting the press release out and getting it to you. And then let me give it to um, Park and Rex and those folks, they know. All right, and, and I'm glad that we are here. Um, let me do this. Uh, let me call the manager uh, to come up and, and he will have words. And then following the can manager, if I can have the representatives from Senator Ossoff's office, Senator uh, um, Warnock's office, and then representative from Congressman Carter's office come up and make remarks. Good morning. I just want to echo the sentiments of uh, Chairman Ellis. This has been a, a two-year endeavor, working with staff, working with the great people from Senator Warnock's office, Senator Ossoff's office, and uh, Representative Carter's office. 
we all pitched in. Uh, this was a team effort. We're really, we're really glad that we're at this point now. What we will do is, once the plans are finalized, once we get a construction timetable, we'll make sure that uh, you know y'all get that information so we can publicize that to uh, to, the, to the public uh, and let everybody know what the timetable is going to be. Again, we want to thank our partners, uh, and this is going to help a lot more to come uh, as we go down this road. So. Thank you, and thank you all for being here. Good morning. My name is Andrew Young. I represent Senator Raphael Warnock. Um, in this day and age, it's important that people and companies and governments work together. Uh, this type of event and this type of project shows a great willingness from Georgia Ports, Chatham County, our state and federal officers to make sure that people have a sense of uh, calm and a sense of uh, security and peace in their neighborhoods. These type of incidents uh, and road crossings are a problem throughout the entire state and we are just happy to be a part of creating part of the solution here in Chatham County. So for the three that have been awarded prayerfully and hopefully others will come and on behalf of Senator Warnock, uh, I also salute the staff and uh, officers of Chatham County for making this happen. So good job and we look forward to great projects like this. Matthew Worth with Congressman Buddy Carter's office. Um, we're really proud of uh, Chairman Ellis, uh, the County Commission, uh, County Manager Kegler for uh, seeking out this grant. Um, you know, our philosophy is that when there's federal money on the table, we want to make sure that First District of Georgia gets their fair share of the federal government's money, and we're proud to uh, celebrate that today. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Commissioner Kenneth Adams. I represent the 8th District, and I'm just excited about this project. I think this is a great project for Woodville, and I and I, want, I hope that they're happy that this is going to affect their neighborhood in a positive way and look for more things to come. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I too am very excited about this project. Um, of course this is the 8th eighth, the eighth district. I represent the 5th district and I have a few railroad problems in my district as well. So hopefully this will slide down and continue to make our, our residents happy. Thank you very much. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm Bobby Lockett from the 3rd District. One Chatham County, one Chatham County. This is the 8th District, which something is being done well in the 8th District. But guess what? Pretty soon, I'm sure, we will work our way over to the 3rd District. Again, thank you very much. This is a great project. Again, let me thank all of you. Let me thank all the staff for coming and for making this possible. All right? And, and I can say to Commissioner Lockett, when we get over here, that's the 3rd District. All right? When we get out to the Truman, that'll be the 3rd District that we're coming in. And, and I can only say to the residents of Chatham County, there is yet more to come. All right. We have been working uh, for the last two years on finding every bit of grants or every bit of federal monies that we could find to come to Chatham County. And I can say with, with the awarding of this grant, it's, it's very profitable because we've had more grants. Now, there were some monies that were given to us. They are not grants. They are outright monies to do things with, all right, for the EOC building and others. Um, but this was a grant. This is a partnership. But as Commissioner Lockett said, one Chatham. That's how we stand. That's how we roll. Thank you all and appreciate you being here. <laughs>